All right, and um, for this very short little video here, before we get into another topic that you'll see in a separate release, we want to talk a couple of events that are coming up, uh, two of them being charity events and then a different event as well. So Steve can start by talking to us a little bit about the Talaran Mega Battle, which is if your time of watching this, you should be seeing this on probably the 16th or maybe very late 15th of November. It happens this Saturday. So tell us what's going on. Yeah, so you know, Everybody loves tanks. Everybody loves mega battles. Let's put them together and donate to charity. That's the super short pitch. Um, so um, in our gaming club, we used to have a tradition of doing some sort of event around the holiday season. That was a food drive or something similar. Um, when COVID happened, it was kind of hard to gather people and organize those kinds of events. And we're trying to get back into it now. Um, and the guys that used to be behind it, got into horus heresy they like um you know like their tanks they like their knights and they want excuses to see titans on table so they said let's do a mega battle based around the battle of talarn and um instead of taking you know like canned food donations we'll have people sign up for the event by donating to um people to people which is one of the charities in our area that just helps people that are needy. You could either donate money to them or you could purchase specific items through their website. Like, for example, like I've, you know, let's say you really feel passionate about, um, you know, mothers in need getting baby formula. You could specifically go and order, like, you know, a $30 package that was baby formula and such. So um, it's a super, super cool thing. It could be a lot of fun if anyone's been, I mean, if you're listening. If you don't know about the event, you probably haven't been before, but if you've ever been to one of Sean's events, he's one of the organizers for it. He runs a great mega battle. He has timed rounds. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, $30 gets you one entry ticket. If you donate $50, you get a purity seal. For every $30 you put in, you get to bring an entire additional 2,000-point army. So if you wanted to go balls to the wall and donate 120, you could bring four uh, Up to three point times, armies, he says. Or up to three times, yeah. damn. All right, yeah. so you donate, if you're really cool, donate ninety dollars. <laughs> you can bring six thousand points to this event. Yep. But uh, you know, money talks. I'm sure you could convince them otherwise. As oh. long as your hands move fast enough to keep up. Yeah, that's. It's honestly, it's it's less about not wanting to cap people out for the donations, but more about can they physically get it done in time. Yep. Listen, <laughs> if you're bringing two warlords to the event, I think you'll be able to manage the time. Hey, there Just you go. saying. And if you have two um, warlords to bring to the event, you can manage the donations. Oh, absolutely. Either that or you're living in the box that got shipped in. You'd probably need a um, small yeah. warlord to live in that. True, true, as, true. As a normal-sized I mean, human man, I think I need about three warlord boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, but yeah, no, like, you know, if you want to meet our community a lot of the guys are going to be there i'm going to be there dan's there dave has something he's up the, the wife has an event so I, I can't make it that day yeah okay but you yeah. know dan and i will be there it's a really great Absolutely. crew it's a really great cause so if you happen to be you know in the lower new york state area comes even if you can't save the whole event come stop by or if you just want to help a charity donate and help a good cause yeah, in the uh, in, in the notes for this particular video, if you take a look down, you will see the link to the charity's website. Yeah, that's people to people, a uh, great organization. Yep, good to keep things in thoughts. All right, mm -hmm. um, which one's next? Um, do you want to stick the, to charity or go chronological? Uh, let's keep with charity because I have the charity okay. game event for the National Federation for the Blind of New Jersey open. So let's go to that. Fantastic. All right. This one is a little more personal to some of the guys in our group. Um, one of our community members has a son who's blind. So naturally, you know, he's very invested in this community. And starting last year, maybe longer, I know, definitely starting last, definitely last year, at least, um, we did a charity event at one of the game stores. It was a 40K event that year. We had like 36 to 40 people showing up all cramming into this room playing some great 40k really high level gameplay really fun gameplay there's a bake sale everything was an absolute blast of a time there is no entry fee for this one it's all you know pay as you feel comfortable but i'm reorganizing this one it's going to be 
how do I explain the format? It's Centurion inspired. If you've ever played Centurion format last edition, where it's trying to get that second to third edition 40k feel. We have a couple squads, maybe a tank as like your big shiny thing, like, ooh, a predator. That's like, you know, that's fancy. So it's supposed to be a step up from a Zomar Talos game, but not like your typical 2000 point game. So we 1500 points using mostly Zomar Talos rules for list construction with a couple little additions and alterations. <coughs> Uh, so we'll be using that Zomar Talus style of um, reinforcement points instead of doing reserves and just things like that. There's going to be some fun missions. My buddy Byron's co-organizing with me. So we're going to have atypical missions like, you know, find the navigator, a little Easter egg hunt style thing with uh, surprises when you if you flip over an objective. No, nope, that's not the navigator's escape pod. It's surprise. Don't want to spoil too much. But um, I got an event packet inside a google doc which is listed under the event on the website for this got it and it, it lists it as tickets being 20 dollars for the day for you to be able to go there and game mm -hmm. and all and then is there separate related to the event or just you can donate more if you wish or anything like that donate more if you wish okay good I mean, there, there's a schedule so we do have that up as well yeah um and then and where is this occurring this will be oh awesome. my gosh I always I always forget the name of the city it's at one of the American Park. posts Rochelle Park thank yeah. you it's the American Legion I would keep in writing Rochelle it down Park. yes it's gonna be there it should be a lot of fun it's gonna be like you know mix the three by three four by four tables super casual environment just rolling dice trying out some new ideas for gameplay formats and you know as I said before <laughs> just helping charity. If it's charity base, can they spend money to re-roll dice? Money talks. I, I know a lot of the charity things I've done. It's like, yeah, oh, you want to re-roll? You get re-rolls depending on donations and stuff like that. That's a very common I'm, thing. I'm probably going to add that into the packet. I just have to figure out how I want to structure that. Yeah. Um, that you can always set a maximum. Or if you don't care and it's fun, oh, don't set a maximum. Absolutely. It's just more of, you know, what does the overall event organizer want to do? Yeah. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah, of course. Um, but they have that. They yeah. have an ugly sweater contest. Yep. They have some board games and things like that. There's going to be some Dungeons and Dragons, some Call of Cthulhu by the look of it. More dungeon, Plenty of Dungeons and Dragons if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, some magic, some different games. Oh, yeah, The Quiet Year. Very nice. Apiary. So a, a, a decent, uh, decent amount of options there if anyone's interested in that. Again, for another great cause. Yeah. Yep, that will be December 16th. Yep. So, just uh, maybe, that's what, a month from now? So, yeah, yeah we'll exactly. A month. Out. Yeah. That one I should be able to get to. That one I don't think, th um, we had to see Christmas season kind of stuff, but I should be able to go to that one. And the last one you have here Fantastic. is the Everwinter. Yes, this one. So, this one's not a charity event, but oh my God, these guys are putting their all into it and then some. Um, so I got tapped on the shoulder recently to help as a sort of, not a judge, but like that guy that floats around, makes sure tables are getting their rounds done, answers rule questions, that kind of stuff. So kind of a judge, but judge is a strong word for it. Um, but yeah, this is an event being put on by a coalition of just the Northeast. Like everyone up in the Northeast of the States is kind of pulling resources together to make this one super dope event um i know they have guest speakers from from some 40k lore channels doing readings for videos because little um little, one of the cool things they're doing is at your table you go and there'll be a qr code and you scan it and it gives you your mission briefing the little video and like that old like starcraft one style like the head moving around nodding blinking a little bit of static it's the the production value being put into this event is absolutely insane um there is still some room at the hotel if you wanted to book a room there this is up in the boston area for anyone who you know is considering it i know i'm carpooling with a couple buddies and i'm trying to convince dan that his family doesn't need him that weekend no 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 it's not happening sorry boss see my problem isn't that my problem is that i have packed some plug the weekend before and i can't do two weekends yeah mm -hmm. that's the problem otherwise i would absolutely mm -hmm. be there that's exactly what it is. I'm doing back some plug for at least one day um, to Saturday. So. One day, coward. 
but I, I can't do three days again. Yeah, I can. came back to work. I came that back to work be, and I was be, so... Be strong of constitution. Also, I haven't even... Um, I haven't even booked the hotels yet, so I'm kind of... You can find hotels now. around there. You might have to be a little bit, but just Uber in. Yeah. It's going to be cold anyway. I, if I'm, I might be a half a mile away. I'm probably Ubering my way over because my wife's not going to walk in the cold. Um, this one absolutely does look great. So if anyone is going, I think you will absolutely have a great time. But um, the other thing, as mentioned, at least Dan and I will both be at PAX Unplugged this year. That is happening December 1st through the 3rd in Philadelphia. Um, I personally am there the entire time. I don't really do miniatures at PAX because I do miniatures everywhere else. I'll be walking around the miniatures areas and things like that, but that's not really actually what I do. I do just do board games. Like I said, I'm there with my wife, um, my sister, brother-in-law, a bunch of other people. So we do a lot more games and things like that. Um, I try to be there by almost open on Friday, and I don't leave until usually at least 4 or 5 p.m. on Sunday. So I will be there literally every single hour of the day. Um, we actually should have shirts, so we'll have at least some shirts on, so... Um, we're a little bit more noticeable, plus I like to be able to help advertise as well, and they'll be much comfier than the shirts I found last year because I found much better shirts this time around. Um, I know Dan said he's going to do at least one day, but there's heresy happening each day, so I have a feeling he'll be there for most of those. He should. Um, but, uh, Steve, are you going to that or no? 50-50. Uh, I actually take a day off of work today because I was so run down from just running around constantly every single day for the last three weeks. Got it. And that's going <laughs> to continue as a trend. Um, mm -hmm. But if I can, I would like to. Okay. Um, we'll see how things shake out. I might last minute sign up. We'll, yeah. we'll find out. If, if you're able to, obviously, you know, be there. If not, then I'll get you, once I have the shirts in hand, I'll get you your shirts so that way you have it for um, any future things that you do and things like that. But beautiful. Uh, so that is some of the events that we have coming up. Obviously, there'll be some new stuff coming in the new year. And, um, Shortly around this time, you should be see a video related to the Primarchs in 30K. So, on behalf of everyone here, has a good hobby and some great gaming.